I'm shocked. Every day I would lift up my stomach. Somehow terrified of rice. I thought I was big at the time. I firstly. Oh. Jingle bell. I remember you being like, no oil, no gluten, no dairy, no fats, no sugars. I was like, well, what do you eat? <laughs> So Today's video is a little bit different to most of my other videos that I normally do. I saw Remy and Whitney do these videos and I thought it was such a fun idea. Like them, I have filmed a lot of my health journey. And so as you would have seen from the title, I am going to be kind of reacting to my old unhealthy what I eat in days and really, really restrictive and just led to a really unhealthy mindset with food and a lot of unhealthy eating patterns, which you would know if you have seen a lot of my kind of health chat videos i'm just kind of going to be like following them along in the sense that i'm watching them and we can kind of react to everything that i was eating together and i've always wanted to like a reacting video so i've got my laptop here and i've got some of my videos up that i thought we could just kind of watch through together and just kind of not cringe because like she was trying she was trying sophie back in like 2017 2018 she was really trying but we definitely learned a lot since then that's all i'm gonna say i know what to start with seven day intermittent fasting experiment i called it before and after transformation a fat loss miracle oh grabbing those grippy titles so i like it seven day intermittent fasting experiment intermittent fasting is a some bless me i used to love that bodysuit okay so let's go to day one it's about 9 30 right now in the morning and i obviously haven't eaten so i just kind of did i look so sad i'm like it's like 9 30 a.m in the morning right now <laughs> like okay. fast. i think quite like i don't know like bloated and a little bit gassy if i'm honest i don't know why maybe it was something i ate yesterday i'm not really sure i firstly Firstly, I was so restrictive with what I was eating at this time that if I ate like one thing that wasn't in those foods that I did allow myself, my stomach would like react so badly. It's like when I cut them out for so long, as soon as I had the tiniest bit, like my stomach would be so uncomfortable and hurt. You know, continuing. I'm not hungry just yet anyway. I ate at about 8 o'clock last night. I just like, I hate this focus on times and like i ate at 8 p.m last night so i can't eat till this today like oh it's just so obsessive and addictive i used to literally like look at my phone to see what the time is when i finished eating to like be like okay like i can eat at this time tomorrow who wants to worry about that like now i honestly do not care if i feel myself getting hungry i'm gonna eat if that's at 10 p.m. at night and then at 7 a.m. the next morning, that's completely okay. Okay, so it is now 10 past 11. I've just finished my second 800 ml water bottle. To be honest, I remember um, I was drinking so much water, like literally probably like five liters a day. Quite a big bowl. I'm not sure if it really looks like it on camp. Sophie, that is not a big bowl. <laughs> but um, I remember that bowl. It was like this big. Alright, that's okay. But this is okay. So we all make our mistakes. I'm so excited. Right, it, it is now dinner time. A little bit of a. Did I only eat breakfast and dinner? Oh my god. Sophie. I'm shocked. See, this is why I'm not following my what I eat days because I could never do this now. Okay, let's see what's for dinner. I just made some dinner. It's basically just a load of roast veggies. So I've got some roast pumpkin, roast potato. I love how little I have of potato. I remember I would fill my plate up with like pumpkin and zucchini and carrot and I'd have like three or four potato chips because I thought they were too many carbs. I was so carb obsessed at this time. Like I wouldn't have any rice, any wheat, anything. And I've also just got a little piece of macadamia crusted salmon on the side. I haven't made that in a while. I think I'm going to try and too. I just made Today myself I have a smoothie bowl. classic smoothie bowl. Heaps of toppings, heaps of good ingredients, and it looks amazing. Oh my gosh, look at that. It does look Lunch good. today is these leftovers from a curry that was at dinner last night. Literally just a coconut curry kind of thing with just a few veggies. And then I've also topped it with some sesame seeds and some hemp seeds over the top as well. It's about 2 p.m. now and this is just when I started getting hungry. So this is going to be lunch. I remember that night specifically when my family made the curry for dinner. I didn't have any rice because again, as I said, I was somehow terrified of rice. And I remember I would only, if we ever had curry, I would only have like the veggies and the sauce. I would never have the curry. I would never have the rice. <sighs> 
so big. You need rice with curry, let's be honest. 16 in the morning and I just bowl. made myself yet again another smoothie bowl. I'm obsessed. It's just getting into that hot weather here. Yeah, look, same, honestly. Look how good and frothy that looks. Oh my gosh. Base. Okay, wait. In here is just one banana, a lot of ice, a lot of baby spinach, a dash of almond milk, and then the rest of the liquid is just water. Uh, vanilla protein powder, some maca powder, and some acai powder. So I remember I made that smoothie so often, and like that would be that would that's like mostly water. It's like banana, some baby spinach, a tablespoon of protein powder, and water. And I would put like a dash of almond milk or something, and then the rest water because I was too scared of like calories. That would have been like no calories whatsoever. I don't track calories at all, but like. What would have that been? Like 200 at most. Now my breakfast, I swear, probably like 500. That was my intermittent fasting experience. Overall, I really, really enjoyed it actually. I definitely right now feel the smallest and the leanest I have ever been. I was also worth... <sighs> okay, quick, quick note about that. My literal goal was to be small and skinny. That was my goal. That was my goal in life. Everything that I was eating and everything I was doing in the gym was to be small and skinny and lean. I feel like around this time on YouTube it was very much like you, you need to be that to be in the health and fitness industry like you needed to be well that's kind of what I thought that's just the expectation that's what's beautiful that's what everything that's what's everything like I just wanted to be small I want to be skinny that was my goal and now my goal is to be strong is to be healthy is to have a really really good firing metabolism because i'm eating enough food like want to be squatting 100 kilos you know what i mean combo of working out and intermittent fasting worked wonders for my body and for me personally yeah so i was intermittent fasting so mostly having like two meals a day and going to the gym and they were small meals up to what you're probably waiting for is the before and afters right next to each other so here is the before and the after right next to each other as you can see i'm definitely looking a lot more toned i definitely feel a lot less bloated especially down the lower portion of my i was just so obsessed with what i looked like and like of course it's nice to feel good and feel healthy but every day i would lift up my stomach i would lift up my shirt and be like how am I abs looking? Oh, I remember this. This was actually when I was doing fitness, which was fun. I like doing fitness. It was like vlogmas, but all about health and fitness. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. I remember being so proud of this intro. <laughs> the fact that I found like like hip-hop christmas music made me so happy i remember taking my jumper off in the gym and thinking oh my gosh like, i'm in a crop top and leggings like my stomach's on show like i feel really self-conscious look at me i'm tiny i thought i was big at the time <laughs> okay let's see what breakfast was shall we one banana at least we're doing one banana i was at a stage where i did half a banana for a while which was not a good time why water and like one scoop of protein, that's not even like a serving. Because I thought it was too high calories. See, I try and make them so big to make them feel like filling. They weren't. What did I have then? We went Christmas now, shopping. <laughs> Anyone else so excited for Christmas? Because I am. And am I doing vlogmas? 1000% yes. And I'm very excited about it. This keep it clean up the sport in chalk hazelnut, which is my favorite flavor. What did you get? It is good. Acai. Is oh, it good? Love my dad. I was gonna try it actually, but this is my favorite. Yum. Literally tastes like a Ferrero Rocher. <laughs> Does it though? That was a time where I was so obsessed with everything that i was eating it all had to be so clean i would never touch chocolate or never touch a ferrero rocher so i'd kind of convinced my mind that it was a ferrero rocher now for lunch because we did just have the protein balls but we were actually going to share a salad and i'm just going to eat the it's like cauliflower yeah and like a tahini dressing and it also got a couple of chips and like a couple of chips and then you just try this one yeah it's really nice so yeah no that's fine Classic stuff. So. Um, so anyway, I'm not really that hungry, but I can eat. Like I am hungry, but I just wanted to eat really healthy. So I decided to put in salad and have some. Like, that perfectly sums up 
how I felt at that time. Did you hear me say I'm not that hungry, but oh, well, I am really hungry. Like, oh, it's like I was telling myself and telling everyone, oh, I'm not that hungry. Even though I was, I'll just have a little bit of this and then I'll eat when I get home because I was so obsessive of every little thing I was eating that I would not even have a freaking salad while I was out. Oh, Sophie. Looks so good. Oh my gosh. I'm okay. so happy. We're not here it. for that, but that does look really good. Lunch was good. Like it tasted really good and everything, but. What the two bites you had? Sometimes when I eat stuff like that, like if it's chickpeas or just like, kind of just when I eat out all the time because I don't know, you know, what exactly is being cooked in it and whether it's just going to play it with my stomach or like what kind of oils or blah, blah, blah. My stomach. And also, a massive I would always of... fill my plate with baby spinach to make it look full because I knew it was like a low calorie food. It's like salad kind of blend. Mix that all around a bit. I always like to make sure that most of my meal is green. So as you can see, it's mostly full of greens and then all the toppings go on top. And honestly, like... And for sure, getting your greens in is 100% healthy for you. But I was doing it because these were low calorie. Flaked almonds on top as well. And last but not least, some hemp seeds. I remember around this time, I was eating like barely any protein either. Really healthy, really light, really clean dinner. I, I would describe things as really light and really clean all the time. I was obsessed with clean foods. Bloated after having something like this. It's just super light, super clean, but do suggest. So I think now... Yeah, so I say add quinoa, but I didn't add quinoa. Add the quinoa. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That was like cool. All right. I'm now in such Christmas mood. Like that Christmas mood. Did I not have dessert? Did I not have dessert? I didn't. Okay. So you're telling me that I had that basically water spinach banana smoothie. Protein bowl. Probably a couple of bites of this salad. And then that salad for dinner. Gosh. And I did a workout. This is called 10 tips to stop bloating. Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm not sure if you can really see because I've really tried to just hide it with my high-waisted workout tights, but I've woken up very bloated this morning. That is not bloated. That's just a full stomach, Sophie. <laughs> it was just this constant battle of feeling like, oh, I've just been eating so much. I need to get back on track. I need to get back on a diet. I need to get back on this. When it was really just probably my body wanting enough food this whole time. I remember thinking it was so weird if I woke up full and not like starving. Be like proud of myself for going to bed hungry and waking up hungry. I thought that was like a successful day. Little did I know, it was just slowing my metabolism down. The thing is, isn't it so funny how I look back on this and I'm like, Oh, my body was so tiny, so little. But at this time, I still thought I was eating too much and that I wasn't skinny enough. Then I make some pasta. I it's use just the normal pasta. And then also to kind of bulk up buckwheat, a little bit of buckwheat powder, but I bulk it up with zucchini noodles because they're low calorie. I'm not saying I don't like zucchini noodles. They're a great way to get some extra greens in, but I would bulk my meals up with that because they were low calorie. And I would have like a little bit of buckwheat pasta. Oh, good boy. Oh, shit. Are you getting hungry? I am getting hungry, yeah. Can I start lunch? Yeah. What do you want to have? Do we want to have the Hello Fresh meal? I'm watching my old unhealthy what I eat in a days and reacting to them. Hi, everyone. It's I remember so you being obsessed. like. No oil, no gluten, no dairy, no fats, no sugars. I was like, well, what do you eat? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. And then if I ate one of those things, I would feel so, like, guilty. <laughs> and then just having a moment over there. <laughs> oh, Shmoney. Ew. Why ew? Just kidding. You look too good. I can't be next to you right now. What have you been doing? Just going on TikTok. <laughs> Of course. Time just speeds up when you're on TikTok. <laughs> I appreciate This is what he does to me. Sometimes when he's just like over the conversation, he just blows in my face. Just over the judgment. This isn't great. I want to make lunch. It's too hot in here. It's because I'm here. Don't take too much you cuddling back there. Oh, he's all right. Jacob! Where are you going to stay? Yeah, it's the same with Mama. Come on! Yeah, be nice and cool out here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, I feel like this video, I mean, I've been recording for like 40 minutes now, so hopefully I can cut it down a bit. But 
all in all, I wanted to react to these videos because I just think it's so crazy the growth that I've had since these videos. Literally so obsessed about food, God, so obsessed with my body and what it looked like. Never in all of this time did I feel small enough or skinny enough. And that just completely shows that it was all in my mind because now I look back and I'm like, oh my gosh, I was so tiny. But I was never tiny enough. Me now compared to me then, I just feel like I am so much happier. My whole quality of life is better because I'm eating enough food. Maybe it does work for a while, but after a few months or a couple of weeks or whatever it might be for you, it will backfire. Your body will think it's in a famine. It'll start slowing your energy expenditure down. It'll start slowing your metabolism down. It can often increase the stress that you're putting on your body, which increases inflammation and it's just not good for your body. In oh my God, you've I don't obviously have confirmation of this because I've never tested it or anything, but my skin was so bad around this time. And I was, I thought I was doing everything. I was eating clean, I was drinking wood, I was working out, and my skin wasn't improving whatsoever. And I'm thinking now that it was because I was under eating so much and putting that stress on my body that it was increasing the inflammation in my body. Could be wrong. Honestly, I think that could play a massive role in what was causing my skin to break out. Eating like this also caused a lot of bad eating patterns in terms of binge eating and feeling out of control with food. I tell myself, oh, well, I'm going on a diet tomorrow. Like I'll just eat everything tonight. And it was just so unhealthy for my body. I My relationship with food was just zero to none. It's definitely taken time. I wanna say it's been a few months of me kind of like not forcing myself because that sounds bad, but telling myself it's okay to eat f every food. I used to feel so restricted and not eat birthday cakes and gelato and everything when my friends and family would be eating it, but now I just do. So I never feel the need to binge or I never feel the need to like be obsessed with everything. I do have something very, very exciting coming in the future, talking all about this and will hopefully help a lot of you if you are struggling with this. So definitely stay tuned for that. We're very excited, aren't we, Shmody? I really, really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know if there's any similar videos you would like me to do. So subscribe if you want to stick around. I'm feeling really, really excited about a lot of videos that are coming up in terms of Christmas and releasing that restrictive mindset and just fun times with my schmoke. Anyway, I'm gonna go help Sam make some tacos for lunch. Hope you guys have enjoyed again and I'll see you in my next video.